you are most welcome to this lesson. And in this lesson and the subsequent lessons, we shall be treating a new topic all together. A new topic all together. You remember we talked about the types of motion. And we mentioned linear motion, translational motion, particle motion, wave motion, translational motion, circular motion, rotational motion, and the rest. But we have chosen one of them to treat. And that is simply circular motion. So we are going to look at circular motion in this lesson and the ones ahead of us. We shall be treating circular motion. Right? You know, we, we have talked about this. We gave you a brief description of circular motion. Look, if a body moves and that body can describe a circle, then two things are happening here. The motion has described a circle. And that circle has a center. Now, the fact that the motion has described a circle means that we are going to look at two types of motion over here. One is called the circular motion. And the other one is called the rotational motion. All right? Now, this circle has a center. Now, if I should draw a straight line through the center into the board, a straight line through the center into the board. I'm going to call that straight line an axis. So you see, I'm going to interchange center and axis in the course of our deliberation. So that is the center, the circle for you, and the center. Come on, let's put the center at this right position. And the center will be somewhere here. I think so. Right. Now, let's look at what is differentiating between the circular motion and the rotational motion. I'm going to take this as a body moving to describe this circle. And watch it. The body is doing this. Can you see that? And it is describing the circle. And where do you find the center? The center is right inside the body. You can see it. I will take the body away. And this is the center. And the center is found right inside this body. So we have the body moving to describe a circle. And the center of the circle or the axis is found within the body. Such a motion is what we call rotational motion. Rotational motion. What about this? The same duster moving to describe a circle. This time, watch it. Can you see that? It is moving to describe a circle. But where is the center? The center lies outside the body. Now, if the center lies outside the body, then we shall call such a motion circular motion. That is the clear distinction between the two. Even though the two motions are all describing a circle. And therefore, if you have a body moving in a circular path and the center lies, the center of the circle described lies outside the body, then we shall call that 
circular emotion and that is exactly what we are going to treat circular motion I'm going to do some demonstrations for you. And to start with, I have a car with me here. A car. A car. And this car is supposed to negotiate a bend. Now watch this. The car moves, 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 moves along this part of the circle. Now let's assume that the car decides not to complete the circle but will join a root and then leaves this way what it means is that the car only only moved along this part of the circle and that is a curved a curved path it is not a complete circle and yet we consider such a motion circular motion you might think that the circle must be completed before we can consider that a circular motion but let's look at this the car could move along this path and we shall call this path a curved path look can't we complete the circle out of it we can do so and what we do is to complete the circle Complete the circle. Complete the circle. And here we are. So even though what the car performed was just part of the circle, we can complete to have a circle with a center. And the car was somewhere outside the center of this circle. And therefore, we can consider this path or this motion to as a circular motion. We haven't finished. Let's look at another example where we can take a pendulum. You know a pendulum is a rope with a load tied to it. That's what we call a simple pendulum. Now we are going to use this one again to demonstrate circular motion. Demonstrate circular motion now look at it carefully carefully do you see what is happening the bulb which is hanging on the rope is going along a circle is going along a circle and therefore we can say this bulb is performing a circular motion what about this what about this again the bulb is performing circular motion the bulb is performing circular motion so you see from the demonstration that you saw it means that a body can go on a curved path or along a complete circle where the center of the curved path or the center of the circle lies outside the body and that could be considered circular motion now we want to look at examples examples of circular motion now we can talk about a car negotiating a bend we are looking at some examples examples of circular motion the one first one is a car negotiating a bend and you saw it once a car decides to negotiate a bend that car performs circular motion now Taking the moon and then the earth, we all know that the moon goes around the earth. This is the earth. 
and this is the moon and the moon is going around the earth where is the center of this circular path performed the center is found within the earth but you see because we are looking at the motion of the moon and not the earth it means that the moon lies outside the center and be very careful the moon lies outside the center and so the moon is performing circular motion around the earth the moon performs circular motion around the earth the third example is to take the sun and the earth and we all know that the earth goes around the sun and it is assumed that the earth takes a circular or it takes a circle around the sun where is the center the center is found where the sun is but you see because we are not looking at the motion of the sun but we are looking at the motion of the earth this center lies outside the earth outside the earth and therefore we can say that the earth performs circular motion around the sun the fourth example has to do with the structure of an atom the structure of an atom and we all know that the atom has a nucleus nucleus and then surrounding the nucleus we have electrons i'm going to take just one of them so i have this an electron this one what is happening this electron moves around the nucleus it moves around the nucleus describing a circle where the center of that circle described lies outside where the electron is so you see the electron is performing the electron is performing circular motion interestingly the fifth example has to do with in the field of aviation when an airplane is about to land the airplane will take this path until it lands on the tarmac this is the tarmac the airplane will take this will describe this path you may ask ah, but this is not a circle we are not talking about circle as a whole all the time but we can talk about part of the circle why because if you should complete if you should complete the circle yes you seen this path taking if you should complete it we shall have a circle with a center somewhere there so it means that the plane in london also performs circular motion and incidentally student we have treated this also as a projectile motion so you see we are putting things together the plane performs projectile motion as well as circular motion look even when the plane is about to take off this is what happens. This is the tarmac. It goes straight into the air and takes this path into the air. And this, from this part of the motion, it is part of a circle. And when we complete the circle, we shall have a center somewhere there. And therefore, we can say that when the plane is also taking off into the air, it performs circular motion as well as projector motion. Look, if you happen to have an instrument they call the mass spectrometer, the mass spectrometer, this mass spectrometer has an area where there is a magnetic field. Let me take this area of the instrument we call the mass spectrometer. Now, this area has a magnetic field. Magnetic field 
Anytime a charge enters, a charge body enters, or we can say an ion enters this area, the magnetic field will exert a force on it. And what happens is this. This ion will now take this path. This path. It will take this curve path. And again, performing, performing circular motion. If I have a body tied to a rope, I have a body tied to a rope, and I hold the body in a circle, you hold it in a circle, it can be a horizontal circle or a vertical circle, as you can see. As you can see. Right? This body is performing circular motion. So we have a lot of examples to give, and I will leave the rest for you to do it. I will see you again. Bye.